Well, it's uh, 2251, I think it is. Uh, into the 22 hours and 51 minutes into the day of Saturday, February 6th, 2021. I keep messing up my days once again because I am in a situation where I am not exactly well, <laughs> all together here. I am in an altered state to, cer to a certain degree. Uh, a lot's been going through my mind uh, today in terms of thinking about things. Things are going well. The The progress is, once again, on a weekly basis. I do have uh, good progress to, to that I can see is visible. But at the same time, when you look at the, to at the totality, the entire project itself, the whole thing of where you're going, and the fact that the path is infinite, that there is no end to the path, uh, that becomes an issue. It becomes, you know, you know, you try to figure out, okay, well, where am I going? And there are points in the past where you have to pause and ask yourself, well, what's next? And that's where I am today. I'm at a point where uh, of enough success has it occurred. Uh, I'll be moving up again in my in uh, in my meditation. There's more that needs to be done, so I'll be adding in some new layers. Uh, there's some more in terms of the gaming because the gaming is actually part of the meditation. Uh, the nerd gaming is deep in thought. It's, it you can actually bring some of the co whole concepts of neutral gin into the, the into the gaming. It, it, it's not outside the gaming. And I'll be moving from one set of gaming into another set of gaming as I, I, I probably over the next six months will be uh, working on the final stages of Lords Mobile. I'll be finishing Lords Mobile uh, within about six months, uh, there about. Uh, so the question is, where is where to next? And uh, I think to where to next is an expansion of QLARP. Uh, and uh, which is basically a live action role play and doing something rather than doing a, it will call fantasy fiction uh, or a fantasy role play where the role play the LARP is controlled by a set of dice rather it's controlled by reality itself is it's taking a deeper step into life into reality in many ways treating it like a game to a certain degree. Uh, in this case, in QLARP, you're, you're acting as a person who tries to change the world for the better using hidden information, information that is not generally known to the public. Hidden information is and can be very problematic in that it's not known to the general public. It can be viewed as conspiracy theory, but it's not conspiracy theory. It does overlap with conspiracy theory, but again, in itself, it's not actually conspiracy theory. And those who wish to protect the, the information, keep it hidden, are of sufficient means that where, where there is a risk, a danger, to sort of release the information. And of course, you also be, have to be careful what, what happens, particularly with certain in, uh, information that can be weaponized, can be turned into a weapon. Uh, you don't want that information to get out. You don't want the weapons design to get out uh, if there w is one that can be attached to it. Uh, and so you have to be careful with how you frame things, how you put things out. And then, as well, you have to be c consider... Uh, the method of presentation, the method of presentation can also be problematic because you also have various different roadblocks, roadblocks because the number of places of publication uh, may have interests which would benefit them if the information didn't get out. And so what happens is there could be problems in the publishing of the information. It really depends on how the information is published. 
It has to be done in such a way that it's innocuous to the person initially. And it's not until you go further into the information that the person learns more about what's actually occurring that the information that is hidden is released. In other words, it's a time release issue uh, and that the path to the hidden information is rather, rather than putting out the information itself, you put out the path to the information. And once a person follows along the path, then they find the information that is in many cases hidden. And, and there's a large chunk of this uh, looking at LinkedIn, looking at uh, the case I have on TikTok that I'm working, uh, working on uh, for Instagram was this uh, one, uh, he's a young, a young Asian person in, in, in the United Kingdom. He had a British accent. Uh, complaining about uh, a woman on uh, Instagram and TikTok who did a sort of parody takeoff of a 1974 uh, hit called Kung Fu Fighting. And he was thought was very offensive that this was, you know, a slander against Asians, but he had no clue as to the history of the song itself. He just didn't really understand what the history was. So he went off there, and then there were, he got a whole bunch of people, again, young people, uh, uh, up in arms, and so they had this, uh, uh, can they were part of the cancel culture, they're part of this, this lynch mob, fully justified in, in their, in their, in their, in their thoughts and actions, but not understanding the history of what, of what was there. And I didn't understand that the actual production uh, was done in India. <laughs> it was an Indian producer who is Indian. The Indians are Asian. Uh, they're Central South Asia and the other goes well Central South all the way up to the north. Uh, the Himalayas are part of India. That's the, it's the Indian continent. And there, that's that's Central Asia. Of course, the Greeks, the Israelis, the um, the Palestinians, uh, the Syrians, the Greeks, the uh, uh, Iranians, the Persians, they're all part of the Asian sphere. They're all part of the Pan-Asian culture. Those are, those are the cultures of antiquity. But yet, there's been a concerted effort over the last... Whoa, Oh, more than a thousand years since 1900, and even, well, since, uh, 1000 AD to wipe much of the East off of the, fa off the face of, face of the, face of the earth. The face of the earth. <laughs> Late night flubs. There are people who don't want the reality of history to ever see the day of light, and, and and this sort of case, this is the case in t in TikTok and on TikTok, that a large chunk of these uh, crusaders, the social justice warriors, really are lacking a lot of necessary information to, and they're simply going off their own assertions in terms of saying that they are right and these things need to be done. And again, it's these people who are loud mouths, they who who get up and yell on the screen, but yet have no clue of what they're actually talking about. They really don't understand the history. But yet they are con they are convinced of their righteousness, they're convinced of their faith in whatever they think is socially incorrect, and they proceed to lynch those who uh, offend them. This is the nature of the uh, religious left lynch mob. And you see it on TikTok, you see it all over the place. And uh, how do you inform someone who is at this point ignorant because they don't want to see any answer contrary to the, what they believe to be true? So that the left are as religious as and as ignorant as the right are. Uh, there is no fundamental difference between the two. And they're equally as dangerous. You would think I would know when I am, but I don't know when I am. That means what day it is. Uh, it is Monday, February 8th, 
2021. And it's uh, 16 hours and 25 minutes into the day. I'm often thinking about, you know, well, as I do things, as and this we're kind of uh, a little behind on things. But that's kind of the way things go. And there was a gap in vlogging because I just didn't have time to sort of, uh, as I was watching and doing some other, uh, other editing, I realized that it, in many cases... I'm going to fix the back pillow. In many cases, uh, when you're doing something other than simply talking to the camera, you have to keep the conversation going. And this could could include even while I'm doing a package opening, which is to uh, speak of, we do have a package opening. Here we go. Oh, another package came in. Again, these packages aren't anything special. They're not... Uh, uh, toys or anything like that. <laughs> well, to a certain degree, they're not toys. Uh, I said I have a problem keeping my place clean. It just so much time is spent doing research that uh, it's extremely difficult to keep uh, a handle on everything. And so you need some extra help. And so I thought these uh, robots might help. These are the ones that do the automatic cleaning. But, of course, I, I don't have $500 to spend on a nice system, so I went with something on a cheaper level to see how they work, and I split the thing into two different functions. One was mopping. So we saw the mopping one earlier. We had done the one for the for mopping earlier. And this is, so from what I can tell, the one... Here's the end open. This is the one for sweeping. So I have two separate functions here. I decided that in many cases that sometimes it's better to split things into functionality. You know, not not everything, even though it can do it, says it can do it, should be doing everything. So you split the functionality depending on what the projects are, what they what they kind of entail, and then once you've done that, then you have a uh, better set of time management, if you will. So let me get this out of the package. And what this does in, in this case here, because I'm not because I'm not spending uh, five hundred dollars on one system. Well, that's what I want. A bit of tape is stuck, so it's adding a bit of resistance to it. Because I'm not spending $500, I can get two. I actually got these because I spent $50 on each. I got two for the price of $100. So, uh, get this out. Now, I said before, I got the one. I've already received the one. And we did the unpackaging. That does uh, the mopping. This one here one that I just got there we go got rid of the glare you have to get the right angle <laughs> to get rid of the glare there you go I've got this one for sweeping so yay for that let's see if I got this right here there you go, that's the other way of doing it so we can see the bottom one. And this one is controlled by your phone. There's going to be an app that allows me to control it from my phone. Uh, I don't know if the other one does that. I didn't check to sort of see. Uh, but um, I will open this up in uh, the room where I do all my unpacking. Uh, once everything comes in, I have an unpacking room. This is our sort of our display area. And in the unpacking room, maybe I will film stuff some more. Uh, not necessarily too sure what's going to happen. But I am working on stuff for TikTok and uh, uh, the Quiet Tea House. More of that's coming along. And uh, there'll be more videos going up there and here and there. So a lot of... The problem is some of the stuff that I can post to Instagram and to, and to TikTok can't be posted here because of... Uh, copyright materials in it. And unfortunately, when you're talking about history, 
and you're going into historical context on things. And there's a lot of ways to go into history. Uh, there are certain things that I can talk about on Instagram and TikTok that I can't talk about here again because of copyright issues. Uh, so it's the whole issue of digital, the digital millennium copyright act is doing its proper job. It's uh, censoring people. It's making sure that certain issues get don't get talked. And of course, if you're uh, uh, you're basically born after 1990, uh, I mean, you've had your modern education. Uh, there is no history for you. There is, uh, oh, I wasn't born yet. That is actually called history. <laughs> for those of who, for those of you who were born before 1990, you know what history is. Uh, for those of you after 1990, there is no more history. They get more, they more or less get rid of it because it's only something that was in the textbooks. Uh, and it's here, it's, it, nothing is necessarily important. And, <laughs> yeah, so it drops off. It was, oh, that was before I was born. Yeah, uh, you can t I could talk about the history of classical music. I wasn't born in the 1800s or even earlier, uh, but I still can talk about it because I understand, I understand that there is a history there. This is something. This is something you can go search. You can do a research project on it. Uh, research is what I do on a regular basis, so it doesn't necessarily matter for me because that's what I enjoy doing. It's part, that's my hobby. And I'm getting to. I'm getting. Things are shaping up that I'm getting to the near the end of my run with Lords Mobile. And that means things are going to be shifting again because Lords Mobile will come out of the schedule probably within another five, six months. And that's by the summer. And then uh, something else is going to take its place. I do have an idea of what's going to come, going to come into its place to up my gaming. Uh, but I'm not exactly there yet. So There's the bus. Well, it is February 9th, and we've got packages once again. It's, it, there are things going on. Research is being done. But, it's like, you, it takes a long time to put all the different pieces together. Like, there are a lot of people, I just noticed on TikTok, particularly in Toronto, who are really terrified of COVID. Well, of chron what we'll call chronic gas. It's not actually COVID. It may sound, sound weird to think there is no such thing as COVID, and, and there isn't. Uh, COVID, the term COVID is, oh, this is nice. It's uh, a digital watch, a, uh, almost like an Apple watch. So I definitely will have to sort of plug that in and sort of get that going. The term, the terms they use come out of virology. And most, well, I would say 95% of virology is classified, so most people have no clue what's going on, because none of the information can be released. It, and it has to do with the fact of, the fact that uh, a large chunk of what they call, Large chunk of virology is something known as dual dual use research of concern. Uh, same thing with quantum mechanics. Once you get to a certain knowledge, particularly a working knowledge of it. Oh, these are nice. These are uh, these are cases to replace the cases that I had bought earlier uh, uh, for the shoes. This is much better. Looks like a much better box than 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 I had initially. Let's see, get this upside down. A much better box. So, oops, sort of uh, put this here. Get this sort of set up. Let's open this up and see to see what we can get a get out of this. And what happens is that the dual use, the dual use research of concern, is research that has, or has, the potential to have uh, military use. So you can use it for civilian purposes, 
or you can use it for weapons purposes. Now, a large chunk of what's going on in the virology environment is weapons research. They're do, they're, it is classified as biological warfare. Oh, this is nice. Flips up like this. Okay, good. I don't know how this goes. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I've got it down. See, there's a flap like that. Oh, excellent, 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 excellent. See, this is the hard plastic that I like. And it's at a better price than, than what I paid for the other one. So, um, this is how you shop online. You order test, you bring it, you do test cases. And you see how the test cases go. And then you work from there on out to sort of uh, get things uh, kind of situated in terms of uh, how it's going to work. I do have to make some, some adjustments, though. Anyways, um, as I said, most of the research is being used for, for weapons research in case in terms of biological and chemical warfare. So most of what's actually going on with this whole virus issue uh, is not being released to the public. What is being released are something known as the control mechanisms. How do you control a population that has these particular issues? And well, this is one of the ways of doing this is you create a, an enormous amount of fear and that fear is what ends up being the control mechanism uh, for society. And again, a large chunk of this is again tested using uh, another area of dual use of research or concern where you have a lot of weapons uh, development going on. And that's what psychology, this is a psychological warfare. That's what's happening now.